Hi there. So, today we're going to go over the four recording patterns of the Blue Yeti microphone. Now, there are some videos out there that already do this, but they don't really show individually how each one sounds, and they were rather dense. So hopefully I'm going to make this a quick and easy way for you to compare how each pattern sounds. And by the end of the video, you'll know which pattern is best for your videos and when to use each pattern to your liking. I'm going to use the same phrase each time, the first two lines of Shakespeare's first sonnet, in order for you to be able to more accurately compare how each one sounds. So, we're going to start off with the first pattern, the one that I'm using now, the stereo pattern. This is the most common one and the one you'll most likely use in all applications. So what the stereo pattern does is pick up sound from the sides and from the front. It's good for just plain speaking in videos, and it's also good for recording something like guitar music like I do, or really any type of music that you're going to want a left and right channel for. Also, ASM artists like to use this for ear to ear, and you'll be able to hear that in a second. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. Hear the difference? It doesn't tend to pick up much sound from the front, though, just from the two left and right channels and from dead on. Our next pattern is called the omnidirectional pattern. And if you take the word omni, which means all, and directional, you'll know that it picks up sound from all around the microphone. This gives that kind of vintage Columbia 360 Simon and Garfunkel sound and is great if you're playing at a live gig, it can pick up the, the presence of the gig. Or if you just want an application where you need to pick up sound from all over the microphone, perhaps outdoors. So let's test it out. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. And let's turn it around. So you should equally be able to hear me from the uh, front facing part of the microphone as you were from dead on. Okay, our next sound field is the cardioid sound field. And if you know that the word cardio means heart, this is also called the heart sound field and has the heart as a symbol. So this is best used when doing a voiceover. And it picks up sound from dead on. Now I've used this for Zoom meetings before and it's great because I can talk directly into the microphone and it won't pick up the sound from my computer fan which is coming from the front of the microphone. Whereas if I put it on the stereo setting, I'll be able to hear both the fan and other you know, room acoustics, but it'll just pick it up from dead on. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. Now the last setting is the bi-directional setting. It's also known as binaural. Now, bi, you know, means two, and then directional, obviously directions, so two directions. Now what directions are they? So it's from both fronts of the microphone. And it's great for a duet, if you're singing a duet with someone or playing a duet on an instrument. And it's also just great if you want something to be picked up from like the front part and uh, maybe like some room acoustic while also speaking so it doesn't get things from the sides. So let's test it out. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. Now if I turn the microphone around, you should equally be able to hear me. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. But from the side, you should not hear me quite the same. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. Okay, we're back, and I want to address one other thing. I want to address the gain. Now, a lot of people get the gain confused with the volume knob. So if you look at the volume knob here on the front, that's only for when you have a pair of headphones plugged in to the bottom jack. That way you can control how loud you hear yourself, or how loud you hear other elements coming through, like if you're on a Zoom meeting, 
you'll need to use the headphones in order to hear other people talking in the meeting when you're plugged in. So that's to control the volume to headphones. Now to control the input volume, you're going to use this knob up here called the gain. And I'll show you, for instance, if I crank the gain, you can kind of also hear it going up and I can even see it on my meter going up. And it's probably at this point uncomfortably loud and maybe arcing. So we're going to turn it down. Now if I turn it down this low and I can even see, you can hear the volume starting to go down. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. Then if we put it back in kind of like a neutral setting, you'll be able to hear me the way you were at before. So I, I prefer to keep the gain at about the middle. Where should you keep the gain? Entirely depends on your speaking style. Entirely depends on the acoustics in the room. What I would recommend is to hook the Yeti into a recording program like Audacity, or if you're using maybe like Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, something like that, that's able to monitor the wave lengths, the waveform lengths. So you'll be able to see if you have the gain at an ideal setting. And you'll know that because you won't want the meter to go into the red. If it's going into the red, it's too loud. And yet if it's not quite up high enough, like say halfway, it's not loud enough. The middle road is the ideal way. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video was informative and helpful. If it was, hit the like button, leave a comment below, and you can consider subscribing if you'd like. Thank you.